AHGT from Death Wears Funny Slippers. If you're following us in series, we just dug down to the bottom of this access portal. This floor right underneath of me is 35 feet below ground. Our goal now is to open this door. The problem is this door has a lot of water behind it, uh, somewhere around 250 tons of water. In fact, if you look up here, you can see all these old conduits. These old conduits is where we could see a bunch of water coming out. The first thing we did is when we got down here, we just thought, well, let's just try to open the door. So this should have a handle right here. It should be like a huge, big steel handle. First thing we did was wrap a chain around it and pull on it with the excavator. As you can see, that didn't do anything. The next step is we, had, we said, okay, we just need to be able to put more pressure on pulling this. Uh, so up top here, we, have, uh, we actually have a plate. So we hired a welder. The welder came out and amidst all the water and everything, welded a huge, what I think is about a three quarter inch plate on top of the door. We had a hole in it so we could, you know, weld that in, put a chain inside the hole, and then pull really hard against it. What we didn't realize, and really I guess just attribute it to excitement and lack of experience opening a Titan II nuclear missile silo, is that this mechanism right here is actually the original door lock. So this is called a blast door for a reason, that these doors were designed to take a blast. Now during a nuclear blast, there's really two effects. There's overpressure. Overpressure is what is the amount of pressure that would be put on the door from the explosion. This door assembly is designed to take a thousand PSI overpressure. Six to seven PSI blows a house down. I think I just ate a bug. Well, that's the downsides of being down here is we are outside to the elements. I do apologize, by the way, for the echo and the water and everything you hear. That's just where we're at. We're not in the nice confines of Zika. We're not in the nice confines of these, uh, the, the missile silo where we can shoot a little bit nicer video. But anyway, so what we noticed, uh, maybe a little too late and we wasted a bit of time, was that this door lock was in this receptacle. So you see that this door lock coming into this receptacle is that's what's holding this door closed. Now this door is, I mean, it's, this thing was designed to take, again, that huge overpressure and then the suction that happens after a nuclear blast. So it has to you know, withstand both ways. So 250 tons of water and us pulling on it with an excavator, this thing didn't even notice it. It wasn't even waking up for that. Uh, so what we had to do is get this pin to move backwards. So we pulled out the, the blueprints because we didn't know how this pin worked. We ever could see that from underneath of here, the original contractors that were destroying this facility took this out. So they took out this bottom plate and they took out the hydraulic cylinder that activated that piston in and out. Problem was we couldn't really get to it from down here. And if we did get to it from down here, you're right in front of this door. So the next things we needed to do was take the top plate off. And we did that and we didn't have a wrench big enough so we used a torch. Troy, it may be easy for me to blow these holes out. Troy, Troy. I mean the, the bolts. They don't want that nasty water on <laughs> After a bit of torch work, which really was more like an hour and a half of torch work because this thing was just being a pain and uh, you're probably thankful I edited all that out, but we got that top plate off. Then we really said, okay, what are our options? How can we open this door? And that's when we came up with the idea. Part of the problem is, is just prying on the door piston would work except the, the pressure from the water was binding on it. We didn't even try to do it without putting pressure on it. 
So the idea that you're about to see is we're going to put pressure on the door from the excavator while we pry on this top piston mechanism. So the goal is we're going to be prying on it really hard. We're going to tell the operator to bump it, which means, you know, put, you know, put some pressure against here. And we're going to see what happens. And uh, as you may have seen in other videos, it worked. So let's roll that final tape of us opening this door. Silver against the wall or about, not? About that far. No? No. Oh, I wasn't expecting the pop. <laughs> oh, All right, I'm done with this thing. <laughs> 